guys, it's June 22nd. We're planting a uh, upland bird plot, and man, it's a beautiful evening. It's uh, it's 81. Well, I'll bet I it's, it was in the 70s. I'll bet it's in the 70s right now. It didn't yeah. get above hardly 80 degrees today, so yeah. beautiful evening. We're going to get this plot in the ground. Good evening guys, uh, this is Josh, and what we've got here is we're planting a real world upland bird mix. Um, I've got a lot of quail on this on my place here. We're at my house right now. I've got Aaron behind me. I've been out spraying some other fields. Aaron came in and worked this plot uh, to save some time. And I went ahead and put fertilizer on this. Um, let me think would have been two months ago. Uh, I had some leftover corn fertilizer, uh, some nitrogen and phosphate. I put 40 units of nitrogen, 35 units of phosphate, uh, and some zinc and some other micronutrients on this. But the big, the big important ones are your nitrogen and your phosphate. Um, especially, especially with the upland bird mix. You, the phosphate is gonna feed the soybeans that are in it. The nitrogen is gonna feed the sunflowers and the milo and the phosphate will help those out too. But the nitrogen is absolutely, absolutely a must when it comes to the milo side of things and the sorghum. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get this broadcasted and uh, we do have rain coming. One thing I will say is there are still a few weed stems sticking up of mare's tail that are not dead. Uh, I'm gonna come in and spray this tomorrow with 2,4-D. We have enough difference in spraying and the weather forecast so that there isn't any issue with 2,4-D uh, hurting the germination of the seed. You'll hear some people say that spraying 2,4-D does not hurt germination. That is false. That is absolutely false. I farm for a living. I raise soybeans for a living. 2,4-D does hurt seed germination if not done properly. You want to make sure that that uh, that your window between your spraying time and your planting time is sufficient enough to let uh, chemicals that might hurt germination to go ahead and work themselves out. So we're gonna go ahead and plant this. Like I said, I'm gonna spray it tomorrow. And uh, anyway, we do have rain in the future forecast to hopefully get this seed germinated. Let's get to planting. That's a wrap guys. That's uh, 2018 uh, bird plot in the ground here at my house and uh, got my good help here over my shoulder. Um, one thing I do want to mention is that the planting date for the upland bird mix from real world is the same time frame as soybeans. So here in eastern Kansas you're talking oh I mean there's no exact dates but if I was to put dates on it I would say May 20th to the end of June. Um, you can plant soybeans as late as 4th of July is kind of the old timer saying, but that's getting pretty late. Um, it's 22nd of June here now, so it should be plenty of time to give this seed just, you know, plenty of time during the summer to, to mature and, and uh, provide a really good winter food source and summer nesting areas for the, uh, the quail here at my house. And the turkeys too, and, and the deer love this stuff as well. I know there's a lot of deer eating on this, especially the grain heads during the winter. So thanks for watching guys, like and subscribe. We really appreciate all of you and your support. Um, if you have questions, fire away, and uh, we'll do the best we can to answer them. If we don't know, we will find out, and we will get you the right answers too. Thanks for watching.